Welcome back to the AI Breakdown. Today we are looking at a deal that was announced yesterday. It's a partnership between Moderna and OpenAI. And interestingly enough, I think the deal is less notable in terms of the implications of AI for health and science and more as a model of what future corporate usage looks like. So first let's talk about what was announced and then we'll get a little bit deeper into this analysis. The deal was first announced in the Wall Street Journal, who characterized it by saying the deal aims to automate nearly every business process at the biotechnology company and boost the ChatGPT maker's reach into the enterprise. So basically, the deal is going to give 3,000 Moderna employees access to ChatGPT Enterprise for their teams to use it in all the various ways that their teams might use it. Moderna says that it plans to roll out 15 new products within the next five years, and they see this as integral to reaching that goal. Now, there has been a lot discussed around the impact of artificial intelligence on scientific discovery. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman has frequently said that that is what he thinks the biggest disruption from AI will be, when it truly allows us to unlock new scientific discoveries that wouldn't have been possible before or would have taken just a hugely long amount of time. At the same time, Altman has also frequently said that the GPT-4 that is available isn't really close yet to being able to do that, that it's a far-off thing. And indeed, he echoed that in this announcement saying, eventually AI will be able to do more and more science, but the best way to get there is to enhance the productivity of people and accelerate what they can do. In other words, AI isn't doing the science yet, the scientists are doing the science, so let's make the scientists work more efficiently, effectively, and better. Now, a big part of the coverage has focused on where Moderna is in its life cycle. Moderna became a household name during the COVID pandemic, as it was one of the first to produce a COVID-19 vaccine with its messenger RNA platform. However, as people's relationship to COVID-19 has changed, the company's fortunes have changed as well. The journal points out that fourth quarter revenue in 2023 was $2.8 billion, down from $5.1 billion the year before. This is, of course, why Moderna is looking to expand the products in its roster. So when it comes to what they're looking for from ChatGPT, it's very much about how they make their team work better than before. Said their CEO, how do we use it at scale to reinvent all of Moderna's business processes? in science, in legal, in manufacturing, everywhere. Indeed, that same CEO said that his goal is for Moderna employees to use ChatGPT no fewer than 20 times a day. What's interesting is that this is not just some top-down imperative. It's clearly happening inside. The journal writes that Moderna employees have created over 750 unique GPTs, which are, of course, the customized version of ChatGPT that are meant to make it easier to do specific tasks or processes over and over again. Some of the examples they give include a GPT that uses years of previous research and medical knowledge to predict the optimal dose of a drug for clinical trials. Another GPT reviews research to draft answers to questions from regulators. Another one helps predict the structure of new enzymes that will enable manufacturing processes with better yield and reduced waste. So what I'm interested in here is not just the drug discovery pharmaceutical use case for ChatGPT and AI, but the fact that this company is looking to apply it across the entire organization. This is not some pilot project where 50 people on a marketing team are given access to a tool. This is the CEO of this company telling everyone to reimagine how they do their work from the ground up with these tools. I think what it shows is that AI does not belong to any one specific department. It is going to change how every department does their work. Companies that get that faster will be quicker to figure out what those most effective use cases are and be better able to share up what works across their organizations. Now, of course, one always has to be skeptical when reading press release-based stories around whether the traction of ChatGPT inside Moderna is really what it seems to be. However, every note that I've found on Twitter and in other social media really suggests that this is something that is being adopted in a major way inside this company. Christian Hendrickson writes, Some remarkable points. 100% adoption of ChatGPT in the legal team. Integration into core processes like dose distribution. A ton of custom GPTs for specific workflows. Scaling up necessitates AI assistance in lieu of hiring 100,000 employees. Further dramatizing it, Christian writes, People are still being like, yeah, ChatGPT can write emails, but meh. And then meanwhile, Moderna are just using it directly in their clinical trials. What a stark difference in view of the technology. Investor Drew Volpe writes, Have been talking with friends at Moderna about their open AI usage internally for a while, and it's very real. The beginning of LLMs changing how researchers work. So when push comes to shove, I think it would be a mistake to view this as a story about how the pharmaceutical industry is using AI. Instead, I think it needs to be seen as an exemplar of what it looks like when an organization adopts an AI like ChatGPT end-to-end, top-to-bottom. In that way, I think its lessons are relevant not just for the health and pharmaceutical industries, but for any company that's reimagining processes based on AI. 
Pretty cool stuff, and I hope that we get more information about exactly how they end up using it, because of course, the more examples we have of how people are successfully using AI, the more others are likely to adapt it as well. However, that is going to do it for today's AI Breakdown. Until next time, peace.